In today's video, I've got five facts about Yoshiro Nene from the series Toilet Bound Hanako Kun slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Yoshiro's bio, abilities in the anime, her voice actors, her perfect type of guy, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character facts videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. <laughs> Yashiro is the main protagonist of the toilet-bound Hanako-kun anime and manga, who obviously made her debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. She is a first-year high school student at Kamome Academy High School Division in Class 1A. She is a female human who is currently 15 years old and has large magenta eyes with yellow flecks. Yashiro has long cream hair that graduates to a teal-like colour at its ends. She wears two brown hair accessories that pull back some of her long hair from her face, we have seen her don some other hairstyles such as twin tails, braids and ponytails. Her hair colour is said to match her nickname, that is Radish. She was given this nickname because she has radish-like fat legs. This is definitely accented in her appearance as her ankles are drawn much fatter than any of the other characters in the series. Attire-wise, we mainly see her in her cream-coloured sailor dress with a magenta-like lining that reaches knee height. The collar, cuffs and pockets are all a darker brown tone. The bow she wears also matches the cream and brown theme, and a skull brooch is worn just above the bow. She also wears the standard regulation high school shoes and brown tights that have a small half moon pattern on the ankle. In the early episodes of the anime, she received a curse that turns her into a small fish. Whenever she gets wet and doesn't fully turn into a fish, she develops these pink scales on the area that the water hit her body that will go away once dry. Now, in her fish form, she has light pink scales that again fade into a teal towards her tail and fins. She has two small horns and keeps the skull brooch and bow that she dons in her human form. According to other fish in the series, her fish form is said to be beautiful. Personality-wise, Yoshiro is very desperate to capture the approval of those around her. She can be naive at points, but otherwise is very outgoing and kind. She is definitely one of those characters whose intention is to always help those in need, despite the risk of danger. Like I mentioned earlier about her nickname Radish, as you can imagine, this is something that, combined with her desperate need of approval, that Yoshiro is very insecure about, fearing people won't like her because of her ankles. She is also, of course, a desperate romantic, and that is very plain to see. She is that much in need of a boyfriend that she went in search of Hanako in the girl's bathroom on the third floor to grant this wish for her. Yoshiro is also a part of the gardening club and, as you can imagine, has quite the talent for raising plants. Rumour is that she took up the gardening club and raising plants in the hope that she would come across as being more ladylike in her search for a boyfriend. Yashiro's Japanese voice actor is Akari Kito. She has voiced other characters such as Iwanawa Kotoko in Inspector, Nezuko from Demon Slayer, Suzune Horikita in Classroom of the Elite, Noahimi Saka from Wataten, and more. Yashiro's English voice actor is Tia Ballard. She has voiced other characters such as Zero Two in Darling in the Franks, Yu Koito from Bloom into You, Yoshino in Date Alive, Laffy from Azalane, and more. Yashiro is able to see supernaturals without having any prior affiliation with them. This is how she managed to meet Hanako in the first place. Hanako himself stated that only exorcists and those people close to the far shore were able to see him, so Yashiro's ability to see these supernaturals is due to a special reason, currently unknown. After the first couple of episodes, she swallowed the mermaid scale. This turns her skin into scales at the touch of water, and she transforms into a fish fully if she is submerged. To combat this, this, she makes a contract with Hanako in which she is bound to him. Thanks to this contract, she is able to stay in her human form when not in contact with water. So let's finish this video off with some trivia about Yashiro from the wiki page. 
starting off with her likes, just as I did in my video for Hanako, Yoshiro's favourite snack is strawberry filled rice cakes. Nice. In her spare time, Yoshiro enjoys playing idle raising mobile games. Now, as for concerns, she has two and they are very, very obvious. The first is that she has terrible luck with men, which she does. She is often left having experienced something bad whenever she chases those charming males she likes. And the second, of course, is that she wishes to have more of an adult-like figure. These concerns are obviously to do with her want for a boyfriend. Yashiro has said that her preferred type are the more handsome guys that she refers to as the charming prince type, and that Hanako and Yu are definitely not her type. Can this girl really be picky though? But thanks for watching this my video, 5 facts about Yashiro from the series Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, let me know in the comments. Now, quick shout out to Warwick for supporting me on Patreon as well as the rest of you displayed on the screen and of course everyone else supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, check out my other links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weaves, later.